what my colleagues need to know about health care initiatives. This is big in terms of the bureaucratic load that's going to be placed on all businesses. Small businesses particularly will be impacted and veterinary hospitals will be no exception to that. So uh, I think one thing that gets lost in the discussion of Health Care Act is that for all of the altruistic reasons that many people embrace the concept of more people having coverage and uh, preventing people from being dropped from coverage when they have pre-existing conditions. The fact of the matter is that this very, very complex law was put through as a tax law. It's funded by massive changes to the tax code, which actually increases the complexity of the tax code dramatically. It's a, it's a little bit concerning in a time where our politicians talk about simplification of the tax code is that they've made it immensely more complicated than it ever was before. Because now we're functioning with a bureaucracy that is comprised of three major federal agencies. We're not only dealing with the Internal Revenue Service, which administers taxes the way that this act has been funded, but we're also now going to be dealing with Health and Human Services and the Department of Labor, which looks out for all of us as employees in the organizations in which we work, which means we as practice owners, practice administrators and managers have to be more attuned to ever to the information that's coming through. My one takeaway uh, for all of that is that I think every practice needs to have a designated person who frequently checks the links that are available through Health and Human Services, through the IRS, and through the Department of Labor websites, and even sets themselves up for automatic email uh, wherever it becomes available so that they're getting notices on a regular basis. This is an elephant that has to be eaten in small bites. This is one way to do it.